Hi guys, thanks for joining me. Um, <clears throat> this was a build that I picked up in order to try and get the mojo back. Um, now, after 176, 172nd aircraft, 172nd armor is my next um, go to uh, mojo builder. Uh, although, um, as Charlie Mack mentioned, making 1350 of scale submarines is also another good one. But uh, 172nd aircraft is uh, my my favourite subject. But when aircraft have camo on them and things like that, then it makes them a bit more convoluted in if you just want a, a simple build. And that's why armour and submarines are possibly the best. Because as you can see in this instance, the, the, the vehicle's just in olive drab and just needs a bit of weathering. Now I did do um, a build progress um, on this, but unfortunately one of the files was corrupted and it just meant that the rest of them didn't make any sense. So I've had to <clears throat> just basically show this um, as a completed build. So this is um, the Trumpeter um, M113A1, uh, 172nd. You have two options how to build this. Um, and I wanted to build it as a Vietnam um, era vehicle because I've already got an M113 built that I did some time back and it was the Ita Italeri one which I think was the uh, support vehicle not the sorry not the um, one with the turret but the one with the um, the um, three machine guns uh, I don't know whether there, uh, there's a 50 cal on there and then there's two other machine guns and I'd already built that some years ago and this one was supposed to be built straight after that but it never happened so as I say when the mojo was flagging I decided to pick this one out so what I'm going to do is just show you the little diorama that I created as I say five six years ago so here it is guys and as you can see the the other vehicle that I built as I say a while back is there at the front and then we've got this one at the back um, obviously they don't match because different weathering techniques just resulted in a, a different result um i think i probably prefer the one i've done recently if i'm honest i like the way that the sludge wash has kind of um made it look um makes it look a bit meaner if, if i'm honest um there we go uh the the diorama is just a very simple bit of piece of hardboard some das modeling clay to make the road and uh, then some broken up uh, hedge that i had that I, I just pulled it apart and stuck it down at the bottom of the, either side of the road to make it look like the beginnings of a paddy field two different colors uh, obviously the darker brown um, you know, with a gloss finish to make it look wet and then the um, terracotta to make it look more like um, a, a road. Uh, fortunately, I still had the MIG pigments for the, uh, for the, they actually call it Vietnamese earth. So I was able to do some uh, weathering on the, the second vehicle. I can't even recall what the um, figures uh, are from. Obviously they're American Vietnam um, era. They may be, um, Italeri, I, I can't remember. Originally, the the diorama was just the the front vehicle in the middle, and obviously no second vehicle. Of course, it's probably not historically accurate. The vehicles are probably too close, and and the the infantry are probably in the wrong positions. But it just kind of is to set the builds off, to be honest. So anyway, that's um, my first build in quite some time. Uh, I'm glad to have this on the shelf I'm glad to have actually completed something I do appreciate all the comments that I received from my not on the bench video uh, thanks ever so much guys for uh, for commenting on that giving me advice and encouragement I really do appreciate it so many people responded to that that um, I can't I can't even start to name you all um, but uh, it was it was nice of you to do that um, and I think that I knew 
that really I'd got to step back and just build something I wanted to build. What's happened since is that uh, some of the uh, projects that I have got on board, um, I've been fiddling about with bit, making a bit of progress on them. This has been the main project and the one that um, set me going again uh, and uh, just adding bits and pieces to the others. So thanks ever so much, guys. Um, so that's basically it. The uh, M113A one from um, from Trumpeter 170 second scale, as I say. And uh, hopefully I'll have a build for you guys soon. Thanks ever so much for watching.